Good evening, sir. So, there's a YouTuber named Janine Amap- What's her name? Okay, one more time. There's a YouTuber by the name of Janelle Aliana who has 2 million subscribers in almost one month. There are speculations saying she's an industry plant. I always question this as well. On this channel, we discuss strategies and tips that YouTubers create to grow their channel. And there's a bunch of strategies. But this, this is unheard of. 2 million subscribers and that was so bad. Sorry, that was my accent trying to grab your attention. But basically, 2 million subscribers in under a month is unheard of. We've seen Peter McKinnon, who has a million subscribers in a year. Emma Chamberlain, which is half that time. But one month? In one month? Yeah, that's weird. I don't blame anyone who's speculated that Janelle is possibly a industry plant. And if you're confused what an industry plant is and how to spot one, that's what we're going to go over in today's video. All you gotta do if you want to know is keep on watching. <laughs> Alrighty mate, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Today we're going to talk about another fallacy. So I have a series on my channel where I break down logical fallacies to really dissect marketing strategies that you might be manipulated by. And I am so sorry if you're questioning why the heck I'm talking in British, Australian, and English. Um, I've been hanging with a few YouTubers that are Australian for the past like week in LA, and it I literally picked up the accent not on purpose so i'm really sorry but if you haven't already made sure you grab a snack because this accent's gonna get really annoying so if you have something to munch on it'll be a lot better and easier to consume before we go any further i want to quickly say if you're a creator who's fresh in a bit growth and you really want one-on-one -on -one help and advice and networking opportunities i'm having an event in los angeles <coughs> So you guys know I have meetups all the time to get creatives together because I've been there where I didn't know how to build a brand like Janelle. How do I get followers, subscribers, and grow something? So this is an opportunity for you to meet me and a couple other friends. So Swipe Up is on September 21st in Los Angeles. I can't wait to meet you and hug you. So yeah, you could think of it as like a little industry plant incubator. <laughs> Just kidding, don't call it that. But I will link below if you want to sign up. It is currently invite only. So I can't wait to meet you guys and I'll link it below if you want to check it out. You guys know me, but I'm gonna actually make a drink as we talk. I'm taking tea drops. I love matcha. You guys know, if you don't know, what are you doing here? I'm an entrepreneur, so I have a few businesses to run and I feel like matcha is the only thing that doesn't make me jittery, but still gives me energy like caffeine. Um, so I'm gonna drop this in this cup of hot water. Ooh. Oh my goodness looks like this okay honestly guys if you guys are from britain or the uk please roast my accent i don't know if it's good i just picked it up all right let's drop it in Ooh. all right so my tea is brewing literally so simple this is not sponsored i'm also using reusable straw this is from coffee straws and i love using reusable straws and hot drinks but sometimes like stainless steel straws don't really work well so this one's a silicone one i'll link it below if you guys want to try it Whoa, it's sweet. In today's video, I'm gonna basically discuss what an industry plant is, examples that are already existing in today's music industry. And the last part is how you can spot one and if Janelle is actually so-called a plant. So what is an industry plant? An industry plant is an artist who has a label backing their movement, but presents them as an organic presence in the entertainment world. So primarily this is actually very popular in music artists, but people have been speculating that it could happen to YouTube stars. If you aren't aware, what Janelle actually got famous for is her van videos. She was living in a van and that's just so quirky and relatable that everyone started to watch the video and it literally hit like 10 million views in under a week. That is crazy. And here's why people were speculating Janelle might be a plant. Janelle didn't have any other previous socials before this video. She so-called got a laptop just recently and it just seems a little fishy to be good at editing, to have storytelling, a video idea, living in a van and just got a social media right then and there. And because I do a lot of digital marketing for brands, a lot of the times I can kind of smell bullshit. So I will let you guys know what I think personally at the very end of this video. Um, so let's sip some tea. That is really good. Wow. So I'm gonna start listing the characteristics of an industry plant. Typically, it's not only someone that's manipulated by typically a big company, but also where they feel so authentic that you can't even tell. I think that's why industry plants are so powerful because whether they exist or not, no one can tell whether they are fake because here's the truth, right? If you feel like an artist, especially in the music industry is real, they're doing a good job at what the company's supposed to do. They want the customer and fans to feel like this person is authentic, it's homegrown, they're real, and they have nothing to do with a big company. Biggest example of this theory is actually Billie Eilish. 
Billie Eilish is a 17 year old superstar. She's amazing at creating her own like rebellious vibe. But if you read any like headline on like Billie Eilish, she's apparently an industry plant or some might say. And if you don't believe Billie could be an industry plant because she's so relatable and so down to earth, I'll give you another example. Blackpink, which is a K-pop popular music band, which actually I stand, um, they're definitely a plant. I mean, their agency, which is YG Entertainment in Korea, is very open and transparent that they, they're fucking controlling their artists. In one interview, you guys can see that Blackpink is not allowed to date, smoke, <laughs> Another interview, I think Blackpink was asked if they wrote their own songs and they immediately got nervous and awkward. And you can see this clip where Blackpink just didn't know what to do because they have songwriters that their industry agent kind of gives them. How do, like, what is the writing process like? We're, uh, given within their... Yeah, like our pro producer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen them do it and I think they change it in a way. They change it in like a totally different way. Like it's like, um, it's pretty cool to, to see. Um. They're kind of like a puppet. You can imagine these industry plants are essentially whatever the big bosses do, they have to do. And it's a sad thing, but not a lot of people are seeing it in the YouTube world. It's, it's quite popular in music industries because I think everyone's a character, but YouTube was a safe place, right? Like YouTube, at least five years ago and 10 years ago, it was a place where people felt like they could connect to someone. And I think the reason why Janelle is a target is because we almost don't want to believe this is true. Like personally, I love her videos. And when I first read this, I was like, no. So now you might be asking, Jade, what do industries do to their plants? This is kind of like literally from a movie where, have you ever seen those movies and those dystopian novels where they take like a innocent soul and strip them their identity and like put them in a plastic tube and suddenly their brain is like supercharged by their management? Yeah, we have arrived to the future. Comment below if you know what movie that's from. I, I think I'm thinking of like the Hunger Games. Not, not the Hunger Games. Maybe I'm thinking of the Maze Runner. So the first thing that most into their clients or plants is they change their musicality. They typically find people with a decent voice and make them better. Um, the reason why they, I said decent is because if someone's already talented and they're ready to go, industries can't manipulate them as much, right? If someone's fully formed and like grown up, it's kind of hard rather than manipulating a baby or a small innocent child. That's why I say they manipulate or try to give, you know, decent artists vocal lessons or teachings to make them a better musician. But I actually, this is for me highly believable in the YouTube space. Like YouTube could easily go to Janelle and give her the camera techniques, how to edit, storytell, give her the keywords on this channel um, to grow her, her account and get backed up by pushing it with YouTube's algorithm. So if you ever see something recommended to you, it could be YouTube strategically placing it on your phone for a reason. So giving someone music lessons or camera or techniques is nothing new. I mean, I love giving you guys tips and tricks. So I think education and giving is not a bad thing, but we arrived at a second thing that industry plants can do, which is give them a personality. <laughs> like this is probably the more alarming one because when you're giving someone a personality, you're essentially stripping away from anything they believe in and replacing it with a new one. Um, you're giving them a new brain, essentially. And the reason why I think this is kind of a little bit alarming um, is because it's, it's definitely a logical fallacy. And if you guys know, I have a series on my channel about logical fallacies. This is a good example of the Texas sharp shooting technique. And the Texas sharp shooting technique is basically you just take the good things out of trends and markets and what people want to see and just make a person out of it. Um, you're just basically finding data patterns to make something better um, and leaving everything shitty out. So this is just an idea, but maybe YouTube is picking out the biggest trends, which is living in bands, you know, being authentic. So maybe they're trying to pick on diversity and ex expanding their um, creators. She's female. She's probably great and on camera, right? So they're picking the best traits and creating a channel out of it. By doing that, now they're able to push it on their algorithm and make it go viral because they have control of the platform. Personality manipulating is very interesting um, and strategic. And that's why a lot of people might presume that Janelle is a plant because there's just too many good things about her and there's nothing that you can't hate. All right, before I move on to the last thing that an industry plant can change and manipulate, I'm gonna actually grab a snack. I'm kind of hungry. All right, so do you guys like cereal? Shout out to Grandiotes for giving me some granola. You guys know I like literally eat on this channel all the time. 
Yes, guys, this granola is so good. And um, I put it on my smoothie. It's also grain free. So my nutritionist Autumn will be very proud. I actually love eating it for like lunch. It's definitely like 2 p.m. right now, but like I love cereal so much. Mm. All right, so the last thing that can be manipulated on a industry plant is their visual aesthetic. So this is nothing new, actually. Most of you know this, but every artist will have a stage name, a stage clothes. They have a certain feed look on their Instagram, and this is to keep branding consistent. I'm going to describe traits of an artist, and you have to guess what singer this is. You guessed Ariana Grande, you are definitely relevant and on par. If you didn't, it's okay. I, I live underneath the rock too. Branding and having a visual aesthetic does is make you easier to be spotted. So attention is being able to grab. So if you're consistent in your branding and your visual, people can see you better. They can just know who you are. And it's a great tool to get your name out there. So a lot of the times with industry plants, not only are they gonna change your personality, but also the way you look. So whether it's your makeup, your hair, your, you know, what you look like on the internet, it's quite crazy how much you can manipulate it. And Janelle, she has this very colorful look to her on her Instagram. Actually, let's take a look at her Instagram. Yeah! If you look at it, Janelle's Instagram, it's literally all about the van. There is nothing before it. Most people, if you go to my Instagram, you can see me in high school where it was just like random ass photos. Like her, she had branding off the spot. And this is very typical for industry plants. Like they almost seem too perfect. Yeah, I almost actually didn't believe it that Janelle could be an industry plant because when I first saw that on YouTube, I was like, that can't be real. Why would YouTube do that? But there are some signs you can see that maybe Janelle has. Janelle has good branding. She has a personality and backstory that's relatable. Um, you know, she basically didn't get crumb up from a huge rich family, right? And she also has the YouTube techniques. She has good thumbnails, titles. It's almost like someone's helping her, which is why I kind of want to leave this question. Is Jeliana, what's her name? Is Janelle Eliana a YouTube plant? And do those actually exist? Before... I reveal my thoughts. I'm gonna actually call up one of you guys who DM me about this in the first place to see if you guys have any more questions. So let's do that. Hadassah, what's up? Okay, tell me what you wanna know about industry plants. I just made a video about Janelle. Have you heard about her? Yeah, I just heard about her, but then I don't know, I thought she was just really good at that. I remember them. But then I hear people say she's like plants. But what's the purpose? That's one of my main questions. Management is like coming in there and giving her the editing tools, what to say, and creating her new personality. I think the reason why people thought about this is because she had no other social medias before she posted that video, which is really suspicious, right? And I guess the purpose is if you're able to construct a personality that goes viral, what companies can do is they can manage them and take more money out of them. For example, say you take Ariana Grande, like, you would, if you want to manage Ariana Grande, you would get like little percent because she's already big. But if they're small and like innocent, you can create like, you can say like, can I have 80% of your money and your brand deals? Because you're so small that like, I can take advantage of you and I'll create you a big thing. So the purpose really is so the company can make more money rather than going to already established stars. Why not start it from the ground up, if that made sense? I think that's my assumption. But what do you think about that? How do you a lot of people think Billie Eilish is a plant. And the, like, there's a lot of plants. Here's the thing. It's scary because like plants, you can't tell. The whole point of a plant is you're not supposed to know. So I guess the best way is if they grow really fast in a short amount of time. That's how you, that's the easiest way to recognize a plant. Like little Nas X or like things that will happen overnight is could be a plant. But at the same time, you never know because the whole point of it is that they, you can't tell. So it's really scary for sure. Right? Like that's what I thought. Um... But she seems normal. <laughs> oh no. What if I'm a plant? <laughs> All right, thanks so much for calling um, and I hope you have a great day. You too. All right, have a good one. There's so many, many things that you can do to grow your brand. And I never in my life would think you're able to get backed up by a company or um, YouTube to, to grow it. And here's my honest thoughts. There's nothing wrong with being a plant or having help. Essentially, being a plant is just a really fancy way of saying she got big help. You can see this because there's not something new about this. There's a ton of artists that got re-identified, got a new brand and became successful. Lady Gaga was one of a great example and I believe she her fucking name isn't Lady Gaga. The reason why I don't believe a plant is a bad thing and I don't understand why people are speculating it and being so scared is because this is nothing new. And I believe that Janelle, I would say like 99% she's gotten help. Whether it's from YouTube or a big agency or management, that is up for debate. 
one way to tell is if their email is like if it's at gmail.com it's typically meaning that they manage themselves but if it's at a company's email it could mean that she's managed by a big company so if plant just means that you are creating a presence that is shaped with the market trends and you're kind of strategic about it then i guess everyone could be a plant everyone can learn online how to grow their niche i should have a video about how to find your niche and you're able to create your personality in the world you're able to know what you want to share and be strategic with it and there's nothing wrong because it's happened every single freaking year in the music industry so why not on youtube that's my conclusion i think janelle is like not really a plant but she's definitely going to help 100 percent. so that's my thoughts i want to hear your comment below what your thoughts are and shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner just comment below i love you guys so so much go give this video a like if you enjoyed this breakdown using texas sharpshooter and techniques like the industry plants i want to know if you think she's a plant let me know your thoughts. I will read every single comment because you guys are amazing. I appreciate you. I can't wait to meet you guys in Los Angeles. I will link below the event page below so you guys can meet me, hug, and we'll have a great party and create more plants. Honestly, yeah, we're going to create more plants at the event. So if you want to be a plant, get industry expertise, get connections, networking, all that fun stuff. Come to Swipe Up in Los Angeles, September 21st. I'll see you guys there. All right, catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.